Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, it's Sunday morning, and Gary and I have parted ways. Uh, he headed north, I headed south. Uh, however, the coffee at the hotel we were staying at was just terrible, and they didn't have any French vanilla creamer, so I stopped at Sheets. Gonna drink me some coffee here real quick and uh, eat a couple of bananas and then get on the road. It's only about 8.30 in the morning, so we're definitely getting an earlier start than last time. But what I'm gonna try to do today is avoid interstates as much as possible. Got a little bit more time to play with. I still wanna try to be home for dinner. Um, so I was thinking about it and we're right off of US 19 where this hotel was. And US 19 runs right down through Asheville out through Cherokee, Bryson City, right straight in through Murphy, North Carolina, which we live just outside of North Mer Nor Northy. Northy North Carolina. Yeah, Murphy, North Carolina. Sorry, I get a little tongue twisted here, my temporary dyslexia. So uh, I'm really gonna shoot for as much of the back road as possible. Now there are a few spots here where 19 joins with Interstate 77 for a few miles. And likewise, down near Asheville and Johnson City, it joins with Interstate 26. So um, there'll be a little bit of interstate riding, but again, it's some of the prettier spots of the interstate riding, but we're gonna try to get as much of the back roads as possible and we'll see how it goes. Now, you know, after watching the video I posted last night, I'm really not fond of the, the camera angle on there and, and I have no way of fixing it right now. So I'm not even going to attempt to get any road footage but if i stop someplace and see something that's pretty i'll definitely get some footage there so come along with the ride with me guys and uh i don't know, make it a fun one hopefully get some more wind therapy get some more uh you know two wheel time in and enjoy the day the weather's looking much better behind me look at those blue skies i can't promise it'll stay this way the whole way home but if it does i'm not gonna argue well guys i made it back to the house right around 5 30 or so just in time for tacos for dinner which was a hit the spot it was really good um i didn't get any footage along the way because i didn't really stop anywhere that was you know worth taking any footage of uh, i stopped once i get gas in johnsonville johnson city tennessee um and then i stopped once in Asheville just to get a, a milkshake at mcdonald's because i was a little bit hot a little bit of traffic in Asheville, so it was just warm by then and then uh and I had to stop one more time for gas uh, about five miles down the road from my house. So uh, really wasn't a lot there, but I really enjoyed the time with Gary and, and, and Gary said he enjoyed the time as well. Um, we got to see some pretty stuff and got to just hang out, which was good. Cause like I said, we don't get to see each other all that often. Um, we definitely need to do this more often. Like I said, it's been about three years, I think, since I've seen him. So, um, Maybe once a year we'll do this or twice a year or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But I don't know if there's going to be anything else to this video or not. Maybe I'll keep it running until tomorrow. I don't really know, but we'll just have to see. So just kind of hang out and uh, I don't know. So just hang out. You know, one other thing I forgot to mention. On Friday night on the way up there, um, I drove through the tunnels on Interstate 77 as you're coming out of Virginia and getting in towards West Virginia. And I have never actually ridden my motorcycle through those tunnels before. I've been through the tunnels a lot, but never on my motorcycle. And uh, one thing I noticed is that I guess there's a, like an airflow through those tunnels. I mean, I imagine they've got a, a decent ventilation system in there. But when I'm going down the interstate at 75 or 80 mile an hour, my helmet kind of buffets a little bit from the wind coming over the fairing. And it's just kind of like a little bit of a shake and a rattle. The second I get inside that tunnel, it all stopped. And then as soon as I came out of the tunnel, it instantly came right back. So I don't know if it's just like an airstream kind of thing. I just never noticed. And it, realistically, it means nothing. I just thought I'd mention it because I thought it was kind of kind of cool. Something I never noticed before because I'd never driven my motorcycle through those big, long tunnels. I know you can't see it very well right now with the tarp on it. But over the weekend, a customer slash friend of mine, Joe, dropped his bike off. Saying he's having an issue with oil pressure or something. So I got to take a look at that tomorrow. And see if I can't figure out what's going on with it for him. You know, I know from your point of view, this seems like a pretty short video. For me, it was a long day. But because I filmed an opening and I'm kind of here filming a closing, 
I know that from your point of view, it's very quick, very short, but I'm tired um, because, you know, it's been a long day for me. On top of that, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff to do tomorrow. And uh, so I'm sorry this video wasn't super exciting. I'm sorry I didn't get a, a much better footage. I will try to find a way to get a decent camera mount for the motorcycle because I did drive through some really beautiful places, some very gorgeous scenes. Uh, just with the way the camera was mounted, you really couldn't see it. So, guys, I know this one's short and not a lot of content to it, but I hope you liked it anyways. And then, you know, hit the like button, share and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.